Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete Zoom tutorial for beginners. I will show you everything that you need to know about Zoom, including the pricing and plans, how to join a meeting, how to host a meeting and all of the features and tools inside of the Zoom software. So if this is your first time using Zoom, all you have to do is follow along with this tutorial and you will walk away as a Zoom expert. To access Zoom, you can either click on the top link in the description or you can simply come over to zoom.us and it's going to take you over to this page right here. The first thing that I am going to touch on is the different plans and pricing that you can get for Zoom so that you can figure out which type of account you need. Let's go over here and just switch this to US dollars as this is a better pricing structure. And we can see right here, these are the three main plans. So we have basic, this is completely free and you will never have to pay for Zoom. However, the meetings are limited to only 40 minutes per meeting. So if your meetings never go over 40 minutes, then you can go for the free version. And what will happen here is if your meeting does go over 40 minutes, then the Zoom call will just end. And if you want to carry on the Zoom meeting, then you will have to invite the person or people that you were in a meeting with back to another meeting. So it can look very unprofessional, especially if this is a business meeting, if the Zoom meeting ends and you need to re-invite them because you don't have this pro version. However, if your meetings are under 40 minutes, then this is perfect and you don't need to upgrade. With the free version, you can also invite up to 100 participants per meeting. We get access to the whiteboard, which is where we can draw things out and show different flowcharts. I will show you this later in the video. We also get access to the team chat. We get mail and calendar access. We get the basic version of clips, which allows you to create five two minute videos. And we also get access to notes. Then the pro version, this gives you access to meetings up to 30 hours. So much longer, not many of your meetings, I would assume will go over 30 hours. So basically you get unlimited meeting time here. Once again, we can go for 100 participants. We get access to mail and calendar. Clips Plus, which allows you to clip up unlimited videos from the calls that you have. And then for business, the main takeaway here is we can increase from 100 participants to 300 participants. But realistically, for most people, we are only going to need the basic or the pro. So I'm going to go with the basic in this tutorial. And all we have to do is click on sign up on the plan that we would like. And then we can go ahead and enter in our birth year to prove that we are over 80. So in here, we can enter in your birth year then click on continue. And in here, this is where we can now set up our Zoom account. So you can do this by either entering the email that you would like to sign up with, or alternatively, we can go down here and sign up with Google, Apple, or Facebook. From here, it's then going to say welcome to Zoom. So we can just go down and click on create account. And we now have our Zoom account. Now, this is the Zoom dashboard on the web and the area that we have right now, we can't actually jump into any meetings, we can't join meetings, we can't host meetings because to access this, we need to download the Zoom app. But before we do this, before we jump into the app, the best thing to do whilst we are still here on the web app is actually go in and change some of the backend settings. So to do this, we click on this profile icon in the top right corner. And then right here where it shows your name and email address, just click into this. And this is going to take us over to the settings area. So the first thing that we can do is go into the profile icon right here, click on this, and then we can click on change to set your profile icon. So I'm just going to go down and choose this image right here. Once you have your image, we can just resize this, make sure this has your entire face in and it's going to show up right here. And then we can click on save. And just like that, your profile icon is now going to drop in. If you want to change your name and how you show up on Zoom, we can click into edit right here. And then we can change your first name, your last name and your display name. So I'm just going to make sure all of this is capitalized right here, just like that. You can also add a name pronunciation. You can add pronouns. You can add your location, company, any of these options right here. So you can fill all of those in or just leave them blank and then click on save. Under personal, we have a few other settings. So you can go in and set your phone number. Just click on add phone number and then we can add that right there. You can change the Zoom language. 
the time zone you are currently in. So I'm in London, for example, but I prefer to work on the Eastern time zone. So I can click into this and then just go back to set this to Eastern time, save. And now my Zoom account is set to Eastern time. So we can go down and change those settings right there. Like meeting account, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really play around with these. It's just your name, profile icon, and then personal right here. These are the ones that you want to change. So once we have that set up, let's go back to home on this left hand side. And from here, we can now go ahead and download Zoom. So let's click on download Zoom right here. And as you can see, Zoom is now going to start downloading. Once Zoom is installed, it's then going to show up like this. And once again, we can sign into the account that we just created. So because I created my account with Google, I'm going to go with Google again and then sign into my account right here. And this is the main Zoom workspace. This is where we can create meetings, we can join meetings, and this is where we can do everything that we need to within Zoom. So to join a meeting, if you have, if your company or your work has a meeting going on and you need to join the meeting, well, the way that we do this is we click on join right here, and then we can enter in the meeting ID for that Zoom meeting. So just ask your company or whoever is the owner of the meeting to give you that meeting ID. You can then enter that in right there. We can choose if you want to connect audio or turn off your video. And then we can also choose the name that you show up with. Then we can click on join and join that meeting. Alternatively, we can create a new meeting right here. So let's go ahead and jump into this meeting. And then as you can see, we are instantly going to load in and this is what is going to show up. So you can see I'm automatically on here with my camera. Let me just go ahead and turn that off. So we can turn the camera off down here. We can also see that audio is on right here. We can mute that as well. And as you can see, I'm now muted and I now don't have my video on. What we can also do is we can click on this little arrow next to both audio and video. And this is where we can configure the audio and video settings. So if we click into audio, you can see we can select a microphone. These are all of the microphones I have connected. So we can set those up right there. We can select a speaker where the noise from other people is going to come from. And then down here, we can also click on test speaker and microphone. And if I click on this, it's first of all going to play a chime to make sure the speakers are working. That's going to sound like this. So as you can hear, my speakers are working right there. And then the next one is going to test the microphone. So it goes into the microphone and then it's going to play it back to me to make sure the microphone is working. So we click yes. And then as you can hear, this is going to now play my microphone back to me when I stop talking. So we click yes. And then as you can hear, this is going to now play my microphone. So I can click on yes. And as we can see, the devices are working properly. So that is audio right there. Then we can also set up video settings. So if I turn my video on right here, let's then go into the video settings. So we can first of all, choose the camera that it is using. We can then choose to blur the background. And as you can see, the entire background behind me is now blurred. So this is super helpful for if you are in like a cafe or somewhere with a really loud background that you want to get rid of, then you can set blur and it's going to put the only focus on you. But let's go back in and unblur the background right here. We can also adjust background and effects. So we can go in, we can set a few different backgrounds right here. Uh, some of them look very cool. Like right now I'm in space. We even have some videos where they will move behind you. But for now, let's just set this back. We can also go into avatars and set like a, a silly little avatar that is going to look something like this. Not going to be the best for a business meeting, but we can play around with these, set different filters, set different studio effects. So I recommend playing around with those, but as I said, they are not super professional. We can also go into video right here and choose a few of these options. So if I go for mirror my video, it's going to kind of flip the camera and completely mirror it. I can go for touch up my appearance. And as you can see, if I like adjust this up, it's going to make some, I'm going to make my skin smoother by the looks of it. So we can play around with that. We can also choose adjust for low light. So right now I'm kind of in a low light environment but I can choose adjust for low light. And then I can choose the settings for this and how much I want to adjust this for low light. And that is the video setting right there. So I'll just turn my video off once again. Down here at the bottom, we can then see the participants that are in this meeting. So if I click on this, it's going to show me all of the participants that are here. So right now we can see this is only me. 
I can go in and from here, this is kind of like the main control panel as the owner of this meeting. So if you imagine I have all of my participants right here and what I can do is I can mute everybody. So I can go mute all and that's going to mute the entire channel. I can then go more and I can ask people to unmute. I can mute people when they first join. I can choose to play a join and leave sound. So whenever somebody leaves, it's going to make a noise. Whenever somebody joins, it's going to make a noise. I can lock the meeting so that nobody else can join in the meeting. I can enable a waiting room. So what this is going to do is when somebody joins the meeting, it's first of all going to put them in a meeting room. So it will give you a notification. It will say John wants to join the meeting and you can choose to accept or decline. And essentially they will just be put in a blank room. It's going to be a screen that says waiting for the person to accept you. And that is what the waiting room is. We can also give participants permissions right here. So we can choose if we can allow them to unmute themselves, rename themselves or stop video. And that is the participant section. Next, we can open up the chat right here. And this is the meeting chat. So essentially you and your team can use this to type out different messages to each other. Whilst somebody is speaking, maybe they are doing a demo and you don't want to interrupt them. You and the team can have a chat right here. So we can just type a message just like we did right here and send this. And then once messages have been sent, we can go ahead and reply to these. So I could say like, hello. And as you see, this is going to show up as a thread. So we can collapse this. This thread is specific to this message. So we can reply to messages or we can also send another message right here. And this is going to show up in the normal chat. So we can reply, we can type in normal chat and we can also go in here and we can attach files. So maybe you want to go to your computer and we can upload an image. If I just upload this image right here, we can send this in. And just like that, this is going to send this image and file that people can download. So that is the chat right there. We can also do reactions. So this is just going to show a reaction on your screen. For example, you can put a thumbs up and it's going to put a thumbs up right there. And once again, that's just how you can kind of react to what is being said without having to jump in, turn your microphone on if there is something else going on. You can also share your screen using this button right here. So I could choose to share my screen. And then within the Zoom chat right now, everybody who is in that call, they can now see my screen and I can do different demonstrations, show people things on my screen. And then all I have to do is go up to stop share and I can stop sharing. We have host tools as well. So once again, this is pretty similar to the participants area. And in here, we can set participant permissions. So we can choose if we want to allow them to share screen, if we want to allow them to chat, start their video, rename themselves, all of these different options right here. Or alternatively, we can suspend all participant activities. And this basically means that they will not be able to do anything at all. We also have this AI companion, and this is essentially going to create a summary for the meeting. Now on the free plan, we only have one of these available, but what we can do is that is now turned on. And from the point where I just turned it on, it's now going to give me a summary of the entire meeting using AI, condense the entire meeting into text and then send me an email of the meeting summary at the end. So I will show you this as well at the end of the video. We then have apps right here along the bottom. So we can click into apps. We have a timer so we can turn the timer on. And once this loads up, we can set a timer. We can then go back to apps and let's return to apps. We can play music in the meetings. We can discover different backgrounds, take a group photo. So those are all of those options right there. We can also turn captions on so we can choose a language. So if I now click on show captions, I need to turn my mic on as well. But if we take a look at the bottom, it's now going to show a transcript of everything that I am saying. So everything that I say from this point or anything that anybody else in the meeting says, we've now turned on captions. So it's going to give us a transcript at the bottom. To turn these off, we just click on hide captions and they will be taken away. We can also record the meeting right recording here. Recording in progress. And as you can hear, it just said recording in progress. It's going to notify everybody in the meeting when you record. And then up here in the top corner, we can see that this is now recording. So everything that I do on my screen, everything that anybody says, the entire meeting will be recorded. And then automatically, as soon as we leave the meeting at the end, it's going to be saved to your computer. So we can either pause the recording, recording stopped. to temporarily stop the recording and then click on play.
Recording in progress. And it's now going to start recording again. Or alternatively, we can stop recording, recording entirely. And as you can see, the recorded files will be converted to MP4 once the meeting ends. We also have breakout rooms right here. And essentially what this is going to allow you to do is create different rooms and kind of split the Zoom meeting up. So let's say that we had eight people and we want to kind of go away and brainstorm. Well, we could set up two breakout rooms of four people each. We can then choose if we want this to assign people automatically, assign manually, or let participants choose the room. So we could go assign automatically, click on create, and that's going to send off the different people into the different breakout rooms. We also have a notes along the bottom, so we can open this up and we can start creating notes. So I can go new, I can go in here and start typing out my notes of the meeting. So we can create all of that right there. Then we can go back, we can create a new note, we can access the note that we just created. And then along the top, we have a few other settings such as bold the text, italicize the text, set different headings and paragraphs right here. And then to back out of the notes area, we can just close this down. And that's going to take us back to Zoom. We also have whiteboards. So in here, we can go new whiteboard. And this is where we can create different mind maps. And we can basically draw on this screen right here and map out different things. Now, automatically, this is going to be sharing my screen. So everybody in the meeting can now see my whiteboard. But we can go in here, we can create sticky notes. We can create different shapes. So I could create like a shape here. We could then add a line so we can go arrow. We can connect these up to different things. And in here, this is where we can create different mind maps, draw things out. And this is a really fantastic feature. Once again, to stop this, we can stop presenting. And then we can also get rid of this and exit out of the whiteboard area. And that is everything that you can do within a meeting. To end the meeting, we can click on end. And then you can choose if you just want to leave the meeting or if you want to end the meeting for everybody. So let's end the meeting for all. And then as we can see right here, we have things like the Zoom recording. So the recording that we took, we then have this recording in audio format. But if we go back to Zoom, we can also go up to this top right corner. You can set your status. So we can set this to busy. And as you can see, everybody will now see this busy icon. So they will know you're busy. You can set your status message. So I could say, I'll be out of office today, just like that. And then we can choose how long we want this to clear after. So I can say clear after today, then I'm back in office, save. And now when somebody clicks on my profile, they can see this message. From this area, we can also click in and go into settings. And in here, we can play around with the settings. So right here, we have all of these settings, things like use dual monitors, enter full screen when starting or joining a meeting. I'm not going to go into detail with all of these because it's just going to take too long, but you can come in here, see what these settings are and toggle them on or off to fit your preferences. We can also choose the system appearance. So if we use light or dark mode, and then we can only do this if we are using light mode, but we can then set a theme. With dark mode, we actually can't do this, which is pretty annoying. We can then set things like skin tones for the reactions that we send. But more importantly, we can go to video right here. We can play around with the video settings. We can go to audio. We can play around with audio settings, test the speaker, test the microphone, and all of the main backend settings that you need will be shown right here. So you just want to come in here, play around with these and set these to your preferences. And then the last thing that I want to show you is if I go over to my email that I have connected to my Zoom account, this is the meeting summary that I got when I turned on the summary bot. So we can see a quick recap. It says Riley presented the functionalities of a meeting platform, including the use of caption and recording features, managing breakout rooms, basically everything that I covered after I turned that on. Then we can see a summary of the entire meeting and we can see next steps were not generated basically because I didn't turn this on for long enough. So if the meeting was longer, it would generate next steps right here. The summary would be slightly better, but this is still pretty good considering I only had this on for a few minutes. So that is my complete Zoom tutorial. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.